Hi, I'm Hao Zhengyu. I'm excited to present our paper, PanelNet, Understanding 360 Indoor Environment via Panel Representation. This work is in collaboration with Luhe, Jingjian, Wei Weifeng, and Shanliu. Understanding indoor scenes via a 360 monocular panorama is a challenging task in computer vision. In this paper, we introduce a novel panel representation which represent a panorama into vertical panels with overlaps and corresponding 3D geometry on a unit sphere. Based on this panel representation, we design PanelNet with the special design local to global transformer as the feature processor. By slightly modifying the network structure, PanelNet is capable of dealing with mainstream 360 indoor environment understanding tasks, such as depth estimation, thematic segmentation, and room layout estimation. Let's move on to the details of this paper. There are two major types of monocular images used for indoor scene understanding, perspective images and 360 panoramas. In this paper, we focus on understanding indoor scenes via 360 panoramas since they have much larger focal view compared to the perspective images and they contain more global context of the scene around the camera. However, 360 panoramas have spherical distortion the distortion only exists in the horizontal direction. The closer to the south and north pole, the higher the distortion. Previous works demonstrate that directly applying the models trained on perspective datasets to 360 panoramas may lead to suboptimal results. In addition to the distortion, 360 panoramas have two important properties. First, panoramas are seamless and continuous in the horizontal direction. Second, Gravity plays an important role in indoor design. In our example, the bookshelf, the whiteboard, the door, and the walls are gravity-aligned objects and scenes. We assume the input panorama is aligned. Based on the properties of panoramas, there are two mainstream approaches for indoor panorama understanding. One directly works on panoramas by modeling the gravity-aligned scenes and objects by capturing and preserving the features of the gravity-aligned scenes and objects, this approach achieves competitive results on indoor understanding tasks with a fast inference speed. However, this approach does not consider the distortion, which leads to suboptimal results. Another common approach transforms a 360 panorama into tangent images. This representation is distortion-free and can transfer the models pre-trained on perspective images to panoramas. However, Partitioning a panorama into discontinuous patches breaks the local continuity of gravity-aligned scenes and objects, which limits the performance of this approach. Generating tangent patches and fusion is also complex, making this approach acquires high computational resources during training and inference. Our goal is to reduce the negative effects of panorama distortion while preserving the continuity of the features of the gravity-aligned objects. Rather than fixing the distortion explicitly, we design the panel representation to learn the distortion. Given a 360 panorama, we first segment the panorama into panels with overlaps via a vertical sliding window. Since panoramas are continuous and seamless in the horizontal direction, we extract the panels across the left and right edges. At the meantime, we generate the global geometry of the panorama. For a pixel PE on a panorama, we map it to a unit sphere and get its global 3D coordinates, X, S, Y, S, and Z, S. Since all panels share a same kind of distortion, the relative position of a pixel to the panel where it is located is also important. If two pixels have the same position on the panels they located, we assign them the same relative position. We use the 3D global coordinates of a randomly selected panel to represent the relative 3D position of all panels which is unchanged during the training. Since the altitude of the global coordinates Zs equals to the altitude of local coordinates Z'S, we only preserve one of them. Finally, we get a five-dimensional vector as the 3D geometry of a pixel. This is an overview of panel structure for depth estimation. Once the panels and their corresponding global and local geometry are computed, we input the 5D vector to a MLP to generate geometric features and then add the features to the first layer of the encoder to make the network aware of the distortion. Based on the panel representation, we design a local to global transformer as the feature processor. 
There are two different kinds of transformer blocks in the local to global transformer, window blocks and panel blocks. The window blocks are used to enhance the local modeling ability within a panel. The panel blocks are used to capture the long-term dependencies across the panels. To capture the features from local to global, we stack up the transformer blocks from window blocks to panel blocks. We notice a performance drop when shuffling this order. We show the quantitative results of PanelNet on real-world 360 indoor depth estimation. PanelNet outperforms previous methods on all evaluation metrics by a large margin. Here are some qualitative results on 360 indoor depth estimation. Compared to the methods without distortion perception modules, PanelNet predicts accurate depths on the foreground objects. Compared to the tangent image method, PanelNet predicts continuous depths of the indoor structure. On 360 semantic segmentation, PanelNet outperforms previous method with only RGB panoramas as input. On room layout estimation, we follow the room layout representation of LGTNet. Since the original PanelNet structure is designed for dense prediction, we add linear layers at the end of the decoder to predict a 1D horizontal depth and the room height. The modified PanelNet also shows competitive results on this task. Here are some qualitative results on semantic segmentation and layout estimation. Our method generates continuous segmentation masks on objects compared to the previous method. On room layout estimation, the modified panel net achieves competitive results against state-of-the-art method, which is specially designed for layout estimation. Ablation experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of each component of panel net. The proposed panel representation exerts the information aggregation ability of the local to global transformer and gets the best results on 360 indoor depth estimation and other tasks. For more details and results, please refer to our paper. Thanks for your attention.